Hey guys, it's surgery day for my breast augmentation. I was super, super nervous. I'm really scared to go under anesthesia. I've only been under anesthesia twice, but Dr. Yates made me feel so comfortable and it was honestly the smoothest and quickest procedure ever. I was honestly so excited and couldn't wait for this day until the day of because of the anesthesia. But literally, no regrets. I literally spent my day relaxing, drinking tea, watching TV, and just taking it easy. Hey guys, so it's day one post-op. I don't really feel any pain. I feel a lot of soreness, a lot of tightness. I am on pain medication to help with the pain, but like I said, I'm not really experiencing any pain, so I'm really just taking the pain medicine to help with the discomfort. It's hard to move my arms like up and around. I can't lift more than five pounds for the next couple of weeks. I also have to sleep reclined. You cannot lay on your back or sleep on your back until the swellingness is completely gone. And as you guys can see, I am very swollen. I am a little numb in certain areas. I kind of don't feel anything even when I go like this. But I'm not going to lie, I thought I was going to be in a lot of pain, but it's mostly just tightness and soreness. But this is the result. I am loving it so far. Definitely happy with the decision. So I ended up getting 370 cc under the muscle. I wanted a really natural look. So this is what I ended up with. Really happy with the results. And I will be keeping you guys updated all the way until my seventh day post-op. Hey everyone, so this is my second day post-op. I am feeling a lot better. I'm still experiencing some soreness. I'm still really, really swollen up here and on the sides. Still feel tightness. I could kind of move my arms a little bit higher today. Um, I did stop the pain medication today, like I mentioned. I took pain medicine the right after surgery and the day after and I felt like I really didn't need it I really wasn't in that much pain it was just more of a discomfort so I did stop the pain meds today it's been 48 hours so I was able to finally full body shower and that was great and I have fully stopped the pain medication so those are two new things for day two that are different from day one I, so during the day, I'm kind of just resting, eating, and staying hydrated. I kind of have this little setup here in my couch where, like, it's comfortable for me to, like, sit up straight or when I want to recline, I just push this lower pillow down so that it could be reclined and, like, I could, like, sort of lay comfortably, not all the way flat because I can't lay flat yet, but... This is my day two and this is what I look like today. Hey everyone, so it's day three post-op of my breast augmentation and I actually feel great today. I can move my arms a little better, Not still not in any pain. I just feel a lot of soreness, not as much as yesterday, but I do still feel some soreness. I'm still a little tight and I am moving horrible timing because I can't really pick anything up more than five pounds, but I'm currently in the middle of packing and I do have a little bit of help, so that's nice, but horrible timing. Um, I'm trying to take it as easy as possible, but you know, still trying to keep it moving to get the blur, blood circulating and to just, you know, get back to normal, my normal routine. But this is day three and this is how it's looking. Hey everyone, so this is day four. Um, I'm still not really experiencing any pain, just still like soreness and a little bit of tightness. I do feel it more on my left one only because there was some more things that had to be done with my left side. But other than that, I'm feeling perfectly fine. I'm still taking my antibiotics. I'm not taking any pain medicines because not in any pain. So there's no need for me to take um, any pain medicine and I'm trying to avoid that anyways. I'm currently doing a little bit of makeup. I plan on just getting outside today just to move around. So I'm doing my makeup a little bit. But yeah, there's still a little bit 
swollen um very tender but that's normal like it's only day four um recovery period ranges per person i could what i'm experiencing could be different from another person but my experience has been smooth it's definitely been way better than i expected i'm super happy with the results so far so i cannot wait to see what it's going to look like when they finally drop excited to see what the results are going to look like and i will keep you guys updated so this is day five post op and today was a little bit difficult for me because i just moved apartments and you're not supposed to lift anything more than five pounds and me i don't like stuff just all over the place i have to just get everything out the way and just have everything organized so it was a bit difficult for me i did have some friends come over and help me but that's still a little bit hard because i like things a certain way and you know i it was just a little bit difficult but um still no pain today just a little bit of discomfort i have been moving around a lot so i feel a little bit more discomfort than usual um i'm still not able to fully lift my arms all the way up but i could do little things here and there um still laying down reclined um i can't lay down on my back yet i have to wait until my checkup to see if my doctor gives me the okay to lay on my back still taking my antibiotics I have to take the antibiotics for seven days so i am almost done after that i will literally not be taking any type of medication at all i've literally been drinking tea these past few days they just helped me feel a lot better it's very soothing so i'm currently making tea right now i also did get some new surgical bras on amazon they have a, a lot of different colors i cannot take this surgical bra off unless i am showering so i did grab a lot of those because you have to wear it non-stop for six weeks they have a lot of different colors it's super comfortable it's like a compression bra but yeah this is my fifth day post-op i will come back tomorrow for my sixth day post-op hey everyone so this is my sixth day post-op i did go see dr yates for my first post-op checkup and everything went smoothly i can now lift up to six pounds she gave me the okay to lift more than five so six now and she also gave me the okay to lay flat on my back so i don't have to lay reclined anymore i've been doing that since day one and it's kind of uncomfortable but tonight i get to lay flat on my back so i'm super excited about that i finally get to have some somewhat good rest still no pain still sore really swollen it's still tender still taking my antibiotics no need for pain medication so pretty much the same thing as has been going the last few days each day is a little bit better i'm still trying to unpack some of my boxes so it's been a little bit difficult i've been trying to take my time with it and not do too much but I'm still moving in and it's just horrible timing my surgery and move in all of that it just happens all at once so I'm just trying to take it easy and just get my life together but so far so good no complaints and I will come back tomorrow for day seven post-op hey guys so I've finally reached my full week post-op and I could honestly say that I feel really really good um, I'm still swollen, still a little bit tender, still no pain. Um, I did think that I was going to have a better night's sleep because I was able to lay on my back, but I think my body got used to laying reclined, so I ended up in the middle of the night just laying down reclined. Hopefully, as the days go by, it's easier for me to lay on my back, but for now, I think I'm going to stick to laying down reclined until I feel more comfortable doing that but altogether I do feel great today I feel really good uh, this is my last day of taking my antibiotics so after today I won't be needing to take any medications at all it's been such a surprising experience because I really thought that I was going to be in a lot of pain I thought literally the worst because this is only my second surgery ever my first surgery was my wisdom teeth removal and I had to go under anesthesia and I was super scared to go through that again so I'm really surprised about this experience really really good 
um i have no complaints so far i think that it's only going to get better from here so i look forward to sharing this journey with you guys is there if there's anything that you guys would like to know any questions please let me know down below and i will be more than happy to answer those questions i asked you guys on instagram i don't know if all of you follow me on instagram but i did ask my instagram followers to ask me questions about my breast augmentation and i answered the top three questions that were asked so i'm also going to answer those questions on here and i'm also going to answer more than three questions that were asked the main question that was asked i think i got maybe like 20 of these is why so the reason why is just um it's been one of my most and biggest insecurity. I feel like doing the breast augmentation is going to give me a really big confidence boost. My clothes will fit me better. I hate the way clothes, well tops, dresses fit me and how they look because I was really flat chested. So um, my clothes will fit and look better. And I just never been happy with my old size. Question number two is what size are you getting? So I used to be a B cup, 32B, 34A around those, and I am now a full 32C, close to a D. So I still wanted to keep it in the natural side. I didn't want anything that was too big or looked not normal for my body. So I wanted to stick to a natural implant and that's what i did i love the way they're looking so far they're still a little swollen so i know they're gonna go down they're gonna drop so i'm i know i'm gonna be really happy with the final result and the final size question number three is are you getting silicone or saline so i ended up choosing silicone a smooth silicone so Silicone implants feel and look more natural as opposed to saline. Saline implants that are salt water based. And after doing the consultation with Dr. Yates and speaking to her about the different options, we agreed that silicone was the best option for me and the most safest. So silicone smooth is what I ended up getting. Another question that was asked is how do you choose the right size? I got my breast augmentation done, the Yates Institute of Plastic Surgery. The implant selection isn't the job of the surgeon. It's the job of the surgeon to do hands on hand with the patient after informing them of the different options that they could choose from that will help them meet their desired size. So if you guys watched my first video where I had my consultation, I was able to try on different sizes. That will help you choose the correct size. The surgeon is just there to guide you and to inform you of what is best for you. There are a lot of different options, a lot of different sizes. So having that physical hands-on experience of trying on different implants in the shirt and in the bra will help you choose your desired and correct size. So another question, what makes Yates Institute of Plastic Surgery different from others? So besides the Yates Institute of Plastic Surgery having an all-female staff, which the women in their office consist of all different backgrounds that really, really care about their patients. I, like I mentioned in my first video, everyone was super, super friendly, was super, super welcoming. They made you feel comfortable. Like they were just amazing. Literally every single one of them were amazing. So every patient that has their surgery done there is seen up to three months for free of no charge post-op. So you'll be looked after, you will have free checkups, like the doctor, the surgeon is there to make sure that everything is going smoothly and that's one thing that really stands out from them compared to other offices is that you could tell that they really care about you know your surgery your post-op how you're feeling how you're doing so have a new state-of-the-art building with their own operating room but those that are getting cosmetic procedures done they could choose whether they want to have their procedure done in the office or at the hospital so it gives you that choice so that you're comfortable again they always want to make sure that you're comfortable that you feel good and they're just there to do all of those things for you and my experience so far has been amazing literally 10 out of 10 and i would definitely highly recommend looking into them if you're looking to get any cosmetic procedure done they're literally the best